In this video I will show you how to distort your topography to create this really cool typographic poster design using Adobe Photoshop. And if you want to see more poster designs from me, then don't forget to follow me on Instagram at tr underscore lineworks, the link will be down at the description box below, among the links to the free resources used to make today's poster design. So without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. Start by making a solid color adjustment layer and set the background color as always. Drag in the ice picture using the move tool or just use the place embedded option in Photoshop. Press Ctrl T to transform the text and resize it to your needs. When you're done, press enter to confirm the transformation. Now, select the quick selection tool and click and drag inside the ice to select it. After you're done, press on the layer mask button. And you've successfully removed the background from the ice layer. Since we will use this as the displacement map, we will have to save this as a PSD file right now. Now, select the type tool and type the text out, I would recommend using a bold font for this. I'm using Helvetica bold in this instance. Press and hold alt and click and drag the text to make a duplicate of it. Now we will use this O as the degree sign. Select the zero text layer and again press and hold alt and click and drag the text to make a duplicate of it. Hold shift and click to select multiple layers at once. And transform the text as needed. Place the zero layer behind the ice layer. Convert the text into a smart object. Now go to Filter, Distort, and select Displace. You can experiment with the numbers here, but for now, I will keep both of them at 10. Select Stretch to fit and repeat edge pixels. Now select the displacement file we saved earlier and click Open. If we hide the ice layer you can see that the text has been distorted successfully. Now select the ice layer and set the blend mode to lighten. Create a hue saturation adjustment layer and clip it to the ice layer below. Decrease the saturation to desaturate. Play with the lightness slider control the contrast. Now 
When we're done let's select the ice and zero text layer using the move tool and adjust it a little bit to center it optically. Now, we will drag in some text from our last poster design tutorial. But we will edit it a little bit to fit this design and composition a bit better. Finally, let's drag and drop this texture on the design. Set the blend mode to lighten. Decrease the filler opacity a little bit. And we are done. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe learned something useful. We are really close to hitting 1k subs right now. But as you can see only 5.8% of you guys are actually subscribed to the channel, so please do subscribe and ring the notification bell. That's it for today, see you guys on the next one.